Hi everyone, it's Coach Fred here, and today I'm going to be doing a very quick review on polynomials for the ACT. So again, remember this is not me teaching you how to do it, it's just trying to get your mind around what you've learned at some point. So today I'm going to go about factors and what they are, um, and how they lead us to the zeros or the solutions or the roots of, an, of a polynomial. Um, what we know about turning points, what the degree can tell us, and the fundamental theorem of algebra. Um, so you have to remember a couple of things, okay? So a polynomial first is um, is an equation or an expression um, that is raised to integer value powers. Um, so here's an example of a polynomial, 2x to the fourth power minus 8x squared plus 5x minus 7. So if any of those powers were fractions, this would not be a polynomial. If the x was in the denominator, this would not be a polynomial. Um, if there was a square root, this would not be a polynomial. So, I mean, I always like to think of polynomials, if I graph them, as like roller coasters. <laughs> because that's basically what's happening, right? It's going like this. And yeah, I can go like this one here as well. All right. So what can I tell about um, a polynomial from its equation? Well, first of all, um, so this equation is in standard form. We could also see equations, so this should be what function is in standard form. I could also see this in, I could see a function in factored form, which would be like this, like x plus 1 squared, x minus 3, and x plus 4. Okay, so um, if it's in standard form, I can tell the degree by, as long as it's in, in descending order by exponent, that this is a degree 4 polynomial. This one, I actually have to add the powers of all the factors. These are all factors of the polynomial, and so this would also be a degree 4 polynomial, because 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. All right, so that power and the leading coefficient, it's, you know, whether it's positive or negative, tell me the end behavior. So if it's, an, um, if it's a positive leading coefficient and an even degree, then the end behavior is going to be up, up. So I can tell you right now that this graph um, has an even degree and a positive leading coefficient. So if it were a negative leading coefficient and even, its end behavior would be down, down. So something like that. And those, that's the terminology I use. Other teachers might say something else. Now, if it's positive and odd degree, that means that it's going to be down, up. So I always think of a cubic function. And then if it's negative and odd degree, so like 3, 5, 7, then it's going to be up and down at the ends, okay? So just look at the ends. It also tells me how many roots it could have. Now, that does not necessarily mean x-intercepts, but um, it could mean that. So um, a degree 4 polynomial is going to have four roots, okay? Um, which could mean four x-intercepts. It could mean two x-intercepts and two conjugate roots, or, I mean, two imaginary roots, or it could have all imaginary roots. So that's what we can learn from, um, from our polynomial equation. Now if it's in factored form, we can also tell the, the x-intercepts, or the, the um, in this case, all of the roots. So for example, this x-intercept would be negative 1, 0, this, and there'd be, it would be a double root because it's a degree of 2. This one's um, x-intercept would be 3, 0, and this one's would be negative 4, 0. And I actually know even a little bit more. Because that's a degree 2, I know that at this x-intercept, the graph is going to bounce. So it means like this. So if I'm at negative 1 and it gets to negative 1, it's going to bounce back up like that. So that's what I should have learned in Algebra 2 about a polynomial from its equation. All right, so what can I tell about this polynomial from the graph? Well, I can see that the, beha the end behavior is down, down. So I know that it's an even degree, and the leading coefficient is negative. So I know that. I can see that there are 1, 2, 3 x-intercepts. And since I know it has to be an even degree, um, actually, this is a double root. So I know it's an even degree, so this is actually going to be 4 x-intercepts. Um, so we're going to have um, x plus 1 squared x minus 2 and x minus 4. So I know that I've got all real roots, okay? 
um, I can see an x-intercept or y-intercept of my graph. So I know my y-intercept is negative 4. So there's a lot I can tell about from the graph, okay? Um, all right, let's keep going. When we learned about polynomials, we also learned about polynomial long division or synthetic division. So I looked at a couple of examples here, here and I used synthetic division. Um, so what does this tell me? I, had, I plugged in a root of 2 a zero of two in using synthetic division, and I got a remainder of zero. That tells me that x minus two, right, um, the opposite of it, um, is its factor, okay? So this is the root, and this is a factor of the polynomial. I also know that what these other numbers become my depressed polynomial. The remaining factor. Now, if I put in a number, say, in this case, negative 3, and I don't get a remainder 0, we should know that the point negative 3, negative 93 is on the polynomial. So that's important for you to know. Um, and it's also important to know that the a way I could write this would be f at 2 equals 0, and f at negative 3 equals negative 93. So that's actually just kind of helpful to know. And that's what you learned about when you were trying to find roots that um, of polynomials that were not factorable. You had to use either long division or synthetic division. Okay, what else? And you also um, learned about polynomials imaginary roots. So imaginary roots are going to be when you have um, i in your root. But what you have to remember about them is that they come in conjugate pairs. Actually, all irrational roots do. So if I tell you that 2 plus i is a root, then it's conjugate 2 minus i is also a root. And because they come in pairs, you have to think about that when you're, um, when you're looking at the degree of a polynomial. All right, so if I told you that 3 plus 5i is a root, then we know that 3 minus 5i is a root. Same with irrational roots. If I gave you 1 plus root 2 is a root, then 1 minus root 2 would also have to be a root of that polynomial. Okay, here's the ACT question that we can actually use all of this, okay? So it says, what is the minimum degree possible for the polynomial function whose graph is shown in the standard coordinate plane below? Okay, so it's number 60, so it's considered pretty tough. It's a difficult problem. All right, I look carefully at the end behavior. The end behavior is going down, down. So I know that it has to be an even degree. So that means I'm getting rid of 0, 1, and 3. Okay, so now the question is, is it degree 2 or is it degree 4? Well, this actually has 1, 2, 3, 4 x-intercepts. So that would tell me it would have to be degree 4. Okay, from the fundamental theorem of algebra. The fundamental theorem of algebra basically says that the degree of the polynomial um, has to be at least the number of roots that it has, but the degree tells me how many roots there will be. Not necessarily the x-intercepts, but that, that was the only option here were 2 and 4. Um, we also know a degree 2 polynomial is a parabola, so it either should have looked like that or like that. This has actually 1, 2, three turning points. So that meant um, the turning points comes from the degree. So um, the number of turning points is always n minus 1 is the maximum um, based on the degree, a degree of n. So because this had 3, I knew that 4 would be a good choice and it was one of my options. So my answer here would be k. I know I kind of went through that very casually and just quickly. If this is something that you really need help with, reviewing polynomials, then just let, leave me a note and I, I'm happy to make some more videos going over each individual topic because I know I kind of rushed through it. It was really just to get you thinking about what you remember from a polynomial. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Have a great day.